Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company accounting lesson. Uh, in this series, we are going to be doing another accounting cycle example. Uh, this will be for a service-based, individually owned company. Um, before we jump right into the whole accounting cycle, I did want to go over how you can use some of the resources that we have on our website. Links are below in the description. Um, in this case, uh, we, do, we are going to go ahead and include it in an Excel spreadsheet. But I am going to also include all of these different areas as a Word document or PDF so that you can print those out and write them by hand if you are more comfortable following along by writing everything out. But for those of you who do want to try to follow along via Excel, um, I do want to point out a few things that are going to be very beneficial for you to kind of make sure that your screens are easy to see and that you can kind of work through the problem as you go uh, with these multiple tabs. So you'll notice that this problem is separated into an instructions tab, general journal, general ledger, unadjusted trial balance, adjusted trial balance, your financial statements, and your post-closing trial balance. So what you're going to see when you go on these is you'll have uh, blank options here and you'll fill them in as you go. Now, uh, since the instructions are in one tab and all of your answer sheets are on other tabs, I do want to show you how you can use Excel to split this file into two windows so that you can easily go through the instructions as you work through the different tabs. So if you are using Excel, and I actually have a very old version of Excel on this computer, but it does work the same way in the up-to-date versions. If you go to your View tab and you click New Window, you'll see that an additional window pops up here. And I can simply take these windows and resize them so that I could view two areas at the same time. So I could go ahead and start working through my transactions up here, and then I can have my answers below as I'm typing them in. And again, when you see this on your end, it, this will be blank. So personally, I think that that's probably one of the easiest ways to kind of run through it. Now, for those of you who are a little bit new to accounting, keep in mind your accounting cycle is going to have a series of journal entries, adjusting entries, closing entries, as well as trial balances and financial statements. So really quickly notice your first step, journalized business transactions. All of your journal entries are going to appear on your general journal. Uh, when you go down to posting, all of your journal entries are going to be posted to the general ledger, which is your second tab, or I guess third tab right over here. Then creating an unadjusted trial balance. And then you'll journalize your adjusting entries. Again, your entries are going to go on the general journal. This will be the data that you use. And then posting those adjusting entries to the general ledger. There's your general ledger again. And then once you've posted those adjusting entries to the general ledger, creating an adjusted trial balance. And there's your adjusted trial balance right there. Once you have all of those balances on your adjusted trial balance, you'll then be able to move over your, to your financial statements tab and do step seven. And then step eight is going to be closing entries. Again, all entries will appear on the general journal. When you post those closing entries to the general ledger, again, use your general ledger tab. And last but not least, a post-closing trial balance all the way at the end. So now that you kind of have a feel for how this spreadsheet is going to work, let's go ahead and jump into step one of our accounting cycle, which is journalizing those transactions. <laughs> 